Hello everyone, I'm Dev Jyoti. On behalf of Surya Aurobindo Society, I welcome you all teachers in one of the most successful innovative idea sharing platform of India, set IIEI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiative. Today in this video, I'm going to share one very interesting innovative idea named Importance of Identification. This innovative idea is innovated by one of our innovative teacher of Tripura named Mr. Sumit Biswas. There is a famous saying that what's in a name? However, each name holds a lot of significance and meaning. In this innovative idea, the teacher makes the children learn new words by letting them know the meaning of their own name and the name of their family members, friends, and whomsoever they know. The student learns name of river, flower, and many things in a joyful way. The innovative teacher wants to teach history and geography by relating it to the meaning of the student's name and where that name comes from by linking it to geography and historical place or any king's name. Each name has a meaning and the students are made to learn a lot of new information by making them aware of the meaning of their own names. The teacher first makes students understand the meaning of their own name. Then the students are asked to collect all the family members' names. To introduce the topic, teacher then relate their particular topic with the name of the student to involve them in the learning process. If the name is relevant with any subject, uh, subject like in geography or history, the teacher explains the meaning behind it first. For example, Ravi. Ravi is related to the river. By introducing the topic related to the river, the teacher directs the student toward chapters related to river. Likewise, the student are first asked to draw the map of Tripura and then the river of Tripura. Then the teacher describes the depth and the length of the river, identifying it on the map. The teacher then asks the student to draw the map of India and identify the route of rivers. The teacher asks student to mention the length, depth, source of the river and where it ends up. With this pictorial method, student easily learn the river of India and Tripura. Teacher can teach history using the same method. Students are asked to identify the location on the map and write the name of the king and the year of kingdom. In this method, students learn the subject joyfully and quickly. I hope you like this idea and you will implement this idea in your classroom or in your school. If you're watching this video uh, in YouTube, please subscribe our channel and like this video. And if you're watching uh, this video in Facebook, please like our page and like this video too. Thank you.